Yo, what's up, people? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? This is Tiario, and I'm back, y'all, with another video and also another eye opening message and topic. And in this video and in this topic, I want to talk about something that a lot of people don't really bring up. And um, I just want to bring this up, man, because because. God's people are kind of confused with working for God's kingdom and working regular nine to five jobs. And I just want to talk about this, y'all, because it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people out there who are really, really chosen by God. And they are not supposed to be working regular nine to five jobs. I'm sorry, but I have to speak the truth. You know, it's a lot of people out there who are really, really chosen by God and they are not supposed to be working regular nine to five jobs. Now, some some people may say, well, T.R.E.O., you know, you know, well, well, how are we going to make money and, and how are we going to pay our bills and this or that and that and other? How are we going to, you know, earn cash to, you know, pay for our vehicles and stuff? OK. First thing first is this before I get off into this message. If you are not spiritual, this video and this message is not for you. You know, if you want to continue to follow the world's way of stressing at regular nine to five jobs, you know, then you are free to do it. Because right now, a lot of you all out there, a lot of you all out there are working regular nine to five jobs. And you still can't pay all your bills. You still can't live a nice, decent life like you would want to. And it's really sad, but it's true. You know what I'm saying? It's true because this is what they tell y'all. And, and this is what they tell y'all. They tell y'all go to school. And then they say after school, go to college. And then after college, they say work and raise a family and all this stuff. Okay. But for number one. They don't even tell you that college is going to put you in straight debt. They don't they don't tell us that. They don't tell us that college is going to put you in straight debt, you know. And then after that, how in the hell are you going to be able to live a nice decent life when you have all these debts? So I want to talk about this stuff right quick. And then and then they tell you work a 9 to 5 job, right? They tell you go out and get a regular job. And these jobs don't even pay much of hardly nothing. And then a lot of people get fired for no reason. They don't tell you that you got to deal with six satanic managers. They don't tell you that you got to deal with six satanic workers on the job. They don't tell you none of that. All they do is tell you go out and get this, get this, get this, get this. But they don't tell you what come with all this stupid stuff, man. And it's sad and it's sickening. But I want to talk about something. I want to talk about how Jesus was a carpenter because that was his regular nine to five. And I want to talk about how Jesus was a carpenter and how he quit being a carpenter to go work for God's kingdom. And that's what I want to talk about. That's what I want to talk about. A lot of people don't want to talk about that. But for you all out there. Jesus did have a regular nine to five job. He was a carpenter and he quit. Jesus quit his job. Why did Jesus quit his job, Tiario? Jesus quit his job to go work for God's kingdom. Now, y'all, y'all better open up your eyes to Jesus because a lot of you all, y'all still don't know him. Y'all don't y'all still don't know the things he was doing when he was on earth, man. Jesus had a regular nine to five job working as a carpenter. And he quit. He quit that job and he started preaching and teaching and working for God's kingdom. Some powerful stuff. Now, watch this, y'all. Don't the Bible. Now, nah, now, nah, now, nah, now, nah. this is the part that really bugs me out about God's followers. Because the majority of God's people today, y'all, they are afraid to leave a nine to five. They're afraid to leave. They're afraid to step out and they are afraid to work for God's kingdom. They scared. They are scared. They scared, man. 
And then they don't have no real faith in God. They don't have no real faith in God. They don't believe that God can really bless them to run their own business. They don't really believe that God will make a way out of no way and help them and support them. They don't really believe it. But yet, but yet, they say they follow in Christ's ways. The Bible says to imitate Christ. How? Watch this. If the Bible was telling me and you to imitate Christ, how are you imitating Christ slaving at a regular nine to five for the rest of your life? You're not imitating Christ. Jesus left his job as a carpenter. He left. He rolled out. Jesus left his job as a carpenter and he started preaching and teaching and healing and walking and working for God's kingdom. And then he went and got them 12 other disciples and he made them quit their jobs. I don't think you all are listening to me, man. Remember, y'all remember the 12 disciples had regular nine of fives. Yes, they did. Peter was a fisherman. That was Peter's regular nine of five. Jesus made him quit. And when and when Jesus made Peter quit, Peter started walking with Jesus, working for the kingdom of God. Matthew was a tax collector. That was Matthew's job. Matthew was basically the IRS. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Matthew was basically the IRS. Jesus made Matthew quit his job and Matthew started working for the kingdom of heaven. Mary Magdalene's job was a prostitute. She was getting paid to have sex with men. Men would pay her money to sleep with her. That was her regular nine to five. That's how Mary Magdalene was paying her little bills and stuff through prostitution. And Jesus made her quit her job and work for his kingdom. Oh, yes, I could go on and on and on. Now, watch this. The Bible tells us all to imitate Christ. But who is really imitating Christ? Because God's followers today, y'all, they are afraid to leave these nine to fives. They scared to step out on faith. They scared to open up their own business. They scared, man. They really petrified. But remember, y'all, if you are saying you are following Jesus, you got to know something about your father, Jesus. Your father, Jesus, quit working a regular nine to five and he started working for the kingdom of God. That's off top. That's off top. You know what I'm saying? That's off top. That's off top. He started working for the kingdom of God. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Jesus did not stay there forever. See, let me tell y'all something. There is nothing wrong with having a regular nine to five, right? If you have goals for God. See, a lot of you all out there who are listening to this, you don't have goals. You don't have no goals for God. There is nothing wrong with working a regular nine to five because you starting off from scratch. Everybody start off somewhere. Everybody start off somewhere. Even Jesus started off somewhere. Jesus was a carpenter. That's right. That's what he was. That was his gift. That's what he was doing. He started off from, from the bottom. He started off from the ground up. Ain't nothing wrong with you working a regular nine to five if you have goals for God's kingdom. But let me tell you this. If you are working a regular nine to five with no goals, with no vision, with no dream, Man, you are a slave. You are a slave. I'm going to say it again. If you are working a regular nine to five with no goals, with no vision, with no dreams, you are a slave. That's it. That's it. Jesus Christ wasn't no slave. Jesus Christ didn't let them people do him like that. He quit. He quit being a carpenter. He quit that stuff. And started working for God's kingdom doing the will. That's right. And then Peter quit his job as a fisherman. Matthew quit his job as a tax collector. And the rest of them quit. And they started rolling and working for the kingdom of God. Now y'all today. Today man God's followers. I don't know what they are doing y'all. A lot of you all out there are scared to work for the kingdom of God. You scared. So this is what you do. You just settle. You settle for a regular nine to five for the rest of your life. You settle. 
You settle and you settle and you settle and you settle and you settle for the rest of your life. Your life is passing you by. It's going down a drain and all you're doing is settling, 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 settling. If you don't work here, you go work there. If you don't work there, you work there. You lose one job and go work another one. You lose this job and go work another one. Y'all, that stuff got to stop. Stuff got to stop. Slavery, man. Let's be realistic, y'all. We already know what all these jobs is about. And then, and then here it is. This is the this is the part that I hate, and I gotta say it. I gotta say this. This is what I hate. Around income tax time, everybody be happy. Oh, girl, I'm getting my income tax. Oh yeah, I gotta get that income tax money this year. You know. Oh girl, I'm gonna file for my income tax. Okay, cool. But look at all the stress and the headaches that you put in just to get an income tax check at the end of the year. Look at all that. It's, 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 it's so sad, but it's kind of like God's people are settling for income tax money. You ain't supposed to be settling for that. You're supposed to have more and more and more and more. God said that he will open up the windows of heaven and pour down a blessing. But yet, look at what everybody's settling for. Income tax. Income t- And then look, right after income tax, it's back to slavery again. Nine to five. Y'all, let's be real, y'all. I know what folks go through on regular nine to five jobs. Headaches, stress, satanic workers, satanic managers, sick customers. What? And and, and y'all, people are going through this from Monday to Friday. Some people are even putting in overtime, going through all that just to keep your lights on. Going through all that just to keep your rent paid. Going through all that just to keep up your bills and a car note. Man, it's slavery, man. It's, it's pure slavery. I don't care what nobody's saying, man. Them nine to five jobs make me sick. I can't stand them because I hate the way they treat people. I'm just being honest and I'm just speaking the truth. Because a lot of you all out there, y'all settling for that stuff. But I can't stand the way they do people. They hire you, then they fire you. You got bills. You got bills. How the lights going to stay on? How the rent going to get paid? How your phone bill going to stay on? They hire you, then they fire you. A lot of these managers, y'all, sometimes I just want to punch them in the face. A lot of these managers think they could just treat the, these workers any kind of way. Come on, y'all. A lot of you all listening to this, you work at the job. You know what I'm talking about. You got these managers who just be talking to their workers like they crap. And and some of these managers think they got, you know, they use their title against you. And then they try to talk to the workers like they're a piece of garbage. You know, just treating the workers like crap, man. Man, what's wrong with you, man? You can't just treat the workers like crap. But that's what y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. That's how they roll, man. That's what they do. And that's why I hate that stuff, man. I hate that stuff. A lot of these bosses and managers be be, 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 be straight abusing their title, man. It's called title abusement. That's what it's called. Title abusement. Just abusing their title. A lot of y'all out there who are listening to this, you need to start filing lawsuits against the, you know what I'm saying, against these satanic managers. File a lawsuit. Seriously. Because it got to stop, man. You can't just keep treating these workers like this. A lot of these people be talking to their workers dirty, y'all. I see it. I see it out there in the real world. I don't blame Jesus Christ for quitting his nine to five going to work for the kingdom of God. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, Tiario, I'm all for working for God's kingdom. That's why I work so hard. I'm just being honest, man. I be doing all kind of stuff for Jesus' kingdom. Music, videos, cartoon movies, all type of stuff I be doing, man. I'm working for God's kingdom. I'm not playing around, man, because the regular nine to fives are slavery. And I hate the way they treat people. And then they make y'all think y'all so blessed when y'all get y'all a little income tax. Come on, man. That income tax money be gone in a couple months. Y'all know it's true. That income tax money be either gone on shopping or bills. And then a lot of you all get your income tax money and then you paying that to get out of debt. So a lot of you all use your income tax money to get out of debt, to get out of loans, to pay off car notes. So after that, the money's gone. It's gone. Let's be realistic. It's gone. 
Because you got to buy you some nice clothes. I understand that. You got to live fresh. I understand that. Then after that, the money's gone. And that's exactly how they're going to keep treating people until God's people start standing up against that stuff, man. I'm going to tell y'all something. The only way out is working for God's kingdom. That's the only way out. I'm telling y'all off top. I'm going to keep it real with you all. That's the only way out. The only way out is working for God's kingdom. I'm serious. I'm serious, man. Working for God's kingdom, man. I'm just being real. A lot of you all out there just scared to open up your own business. Scared to start putting in work for Jesus' kingdom. Scared to step out on faith, man. But Tiario, y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm not going out like that. I'm just not doing it. I'm not going out like that. I'm not doing it. I'm not dying in that stuff. Let me tell y'all something, man. I used to have a job many, many years ago. I was working with my stepdad. That's right. I used to have one. A regular nine to five. I was working with my stepdad. Way before YouTube. Way before the videos. Way before all that. Yeah. I was working with my stepdad. I had one. Working with him. You know. But. God already told me I wasn't going to be that long. He already told me that. He said, Tiario, you're not going to be here long, son. I got a plan for you. That's right. I'm just here right now because I'm, I'm going to tell you what the Lord told me. He said, Tiario, I got you here right now because I'm teaching you stuff. But after that, son, you know, I want you to get up, roll out, start putting in work for my kingdom. Get your own company started. You know what I'm saying? Start your own business. Don't be scared. Don't worry about what people are going to say. Start your own stuff. Build your own brand. Build a name for your business, son. Get out of the slavery world. Get out of the slavery world. Seriously. It just makes me sick to see people just slaving regular nine to fives. And the government sitting back collecting all the checks laughing. It makes me sick, man. Really does. Jesus quit his, y'all. He quit his. Jesus was a carpenter and he bounced and rolled out and he quit and he started working for Jesus' kingdom. It's right there in the Bible. Anybody go against that is stupid. Anybody go against that is stupid. And then the scripture tells us, imitate Christ. That's why the apostle Paul started doing what he was doing. Because the apostle Paul had a regular job. Yeah, the apostle Paul was many things. Read the scriptures. The Apostle Paul was doing all kind of stuff. For, the, the Apostle Paul had all kind of jobs. But when God brought him into the kingdom, Paul quit all that stuff and started working for God's kingdom. Period. 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 So with all that being said, I just wanted to just talk about this stuff, man. Because, you know, man, people don't even, people don't even value how Jesus lived his life. Jesus lived his life is an example for what we should do. Jesus showing you how to get out of slavery. He's showing you how to get out of all the curses. He's showing you how to get out that stuff. Work for his kingdom. Start putting in the work for his kingdom, man. Open up a business for Jesus' kingdom, man. Seriously. Take chances. Work hard. Step out on faith. Jesus showing us how to do it, but nobody is paying attention. Jesus quit his regular nine to five and started working for God's kingdom. How much more you got to see? So with all that being said, y'all, this is Tiario, man, and I'm out, y'all. Peace.